I've already done top five handguns from SHOT Show 2024. Now it's time to go to my second favorite category, top five shotguns. Show shotties were shitty this year. Ran into my buddy, the gauge god, Matt Hot, at the show. Asked him if he saw anything cool shotgun-wise. He said, other than Mossberg, not really. But we've got enough to do a proper top five this year. Number five, the Breacher AOW shotguns being produced by Mossberg. These are not of the Trailer Park Children's Entertainment variety of short shotguns. These are serious military issue working shotguns that were specifically requested and refined over several years by high level European units, which you have definitely heard of. And unfortunately, I can't repeat here. That's not to denigrate the standard Mossberg shockwave. After all, it did prove itself in the great dumpster defender skirmish of 2018. These are much more sophisticated, however. They include AR-15 style safeties, larger action release buttons, M-lock handguards, breacher muzzle devices built into the barrel, those oh-so-euro bungee slings, plenty of fencing on the receiver to prevent the accidental activation of the controls, and a plate built in to help guide the five-round magazines home in low light. These things are actually really, really cool, but pretty much their only purpose in the Reeves household would be blowing off the hinges into the bathroom as a practical joke when Lindsay's in the tub. Number four, the controversy slot, because when you mark up a standard pump action shotgun to 750 bucks, people get kind of pissed off. PTR, known for making roller delayed HK style PCCs and rifles, now making shorty AOWs based on Mossberg 500 type receivers, although it's kind of hard to tell if these are Maverick 88 or Mossberg 500 series just by looking at them. There's a three plus one round breacher and a two plus one round super shorty. A lot of people got riled up in the comments because PTR is charging 750 bucks for these simple shotguns. But then again, a lot of people don't realize that Serbu and Safety Harbor super short shotguns are really hard to find right now. And you just can't make one of these at home very easily. If you're going to cut the barrel down to something like seven and a half inches, what are you going to do with a barrel lug, capping off the magazine tube? And those are only the beginning of your concerns, which because we're on YouTube, I won't go into in much more detail, but it's a complicated affair to try to build your own, both legally and mechanically. So while this was an interesting video with the rep of PTR, and I bet most of you missed the special remix at the end of that video. You're just going to have to go back and see. Pump action. You talk to me, give me the look. With a nice pump action. Pump action. I bet PTR is probably going to be able to sell as many of these as they can make simply because no one else is doing it right now. Number three, the Palmetto State Armory 570. I don't know if this thing is a raging piece of shit or not. It is, after all, a prototype and made by Palmetto State Armory. So who knows? However, they are checking all the boxes on paper. It's going to be 870 furniture compatible. They say it's going to be modular, which means you can change the barrel and the magazine tubes yourself. It's going to be optics ready with a native optic cut, something that Mossberg came up with last year. And it's frankly brilliant. Everyone's probably going to be doing that in the next couple of years. I've been trying to give Palmetto State Armory more credit lately than I have in the past because they're making big moves. They're improving quality control. When you talk about it, I mean, it sounds cool to be like it's modular. The end user can modify their shotgun. But on the other hand, is the juice worth the squeeze after all? Because barrel length is restricted at 18 inches for shotguns anyways. Guys who want tactical shotguns are going to be swapping between, what, 20-inch barrels with 8-round tubes and 18-inch barrels with 7-round tubes like one or the other. You can't go any shorter. I guess you could go longer, but I very seriously doubt that there's a market for a 12-gauge shotgun with, like, a 24-inch barrel that holds 11 rounds of buckshot. In other words, I think it's not really all that much to get pumped about the whole modularity thing. The end user can remove the magazine tube and maybe install it incorrectly, and you're using just a barrel clamp to hold the barrel to the magazine tube, might not be a good idea. But who knows? I'm just a shotgun enthusiast, not an engineer. I'm giving PSA the benefit of the doubt, which is why they are number three, because this is at least an innovative shotgun concept. Let's see how it plays out in practice. 
Number two, Mossberg at it again. Can't stop these guys on one hand. I want to say the Thunder Ranch 590, probably the best pump shotgun money can buy right now, and it should be number two. But Mossberg also gave us a look at the Professional Series, which is similar to the Thunder Ranch models. Like the Thunder Ranch guns, the Professional Series will be available in a 590 pump model and a 940 semi-automatic version. All four of these shotguns, that is the Thunder Ranch 590 and 940, the Professional Series 590 and 940, they'll all be optics ready. They'll all feature Cerakote finishes. The Pro Series is going to be like a gray finish, Thunder Ranch, FDE, Coyote, Brown. Both the Professional and Thunder Ranch versions of the 940 will have updated furniture with QD sling swivels and M-Lock polymer barrel clamps. The real differences between these two lines are minor machining and controls. The Professional Series will have beveled and contoured ejection and loading ports, as well as steel ghost ring sights with protective ears, fiber optic front tube. The Professional Series will also have a reworked trigger and a new style safety. The Professional Series looks like they might be the better shotguns, a little bit more featured out, but they're certainly going to be more expensive than the Thunder Ranch models. So not knowing the pricing and availability of the Professional Series just yet makes it difficult to say, oh yeah, that one's going to be better. If I got to pick one, I'm probably going to go with Uncle Clint's Thunder Ranch 590 pump because I love that thing. It's going to come in reasonably priced with an MSRP of 660 bucks and come with generally everything you need. Number one, you guys guessed it already, perhaps my most favored shotgun of all time, if not my most favorite gun of all time, the Beretta 1301. I had so many of you walk up to me at SHOT Show and say, James, I bought my 1301 because of you. I'd ask, what did you think of it? And the response, 100% of the time, 100% of the time is, I absolutely love it. I call this my Shawshank Redemption gun because when someone walks up to you and says, hey man, can you recommend a movie to me? It's like, I don't know you. I don't know who you are, what kind of movies you like. I don't know, Shawshank Redemption. You'll go watch it and you'll say, oh my God, James, what a great recommendation. That's the 1301. You're talking about an Italian-made high-end tactical shotgun with outstanding fit and finish, excellent controls, the self-cleaning blink operating system, outstanding handling, lightweight but low recoil. It's just a wonderful shotgun. It's not perfect yet. Unlike the Mossberg 940, there is no native optic cut, and it trails behind its own brother, the significantly cheaper A300, which has a much better beveled and flared loading port than the 1301. But the brand new 1301 Mod 2 does up the stakes by using a pro lifter, which swings out of the way when you're loading the shotgun, making it far easier to load eliminating thumb pinch. There's also the straight trigger, slightly better than the curved trigger. Comes with a seven round mag tube out of the box now. The furniture is improved with this very aggressive checkering and these M-lock slots on the fore end. A massive improvement over the prior generation furniture. However, it still retains the beautiful rainbow of tactical colors for you to choose from. I managed to get this Mod 2 before SHOT Show. Ryan and I went to my range, the Neutral Ground Gun Company here in New Orleans. We were planning on just shooting a couple of rounds to get through like some B-roll for the announcement video at SHOT Show. Swear to God, next thing I know, I'm almost a case of shells. I can see the boxes right now into this gun. It's that fun to shoot. That's why it's my number one shotgun from SHOT Show 2024. This is my personal channel. Make sure you subscribe, please do me a favor because we still have top five rifles, top five PCCs, top five gear items from SHOT Show 2024 coming up. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.